I actually hit the stop. Um, but I've already had some of it, and uh, it's hot as shit. So um, I don't have much of the eggs left, but you guys will get to see the beautiful destructive pancake of death. So, yep, it's uh, it's definitely it doesn't taste good. Let me tell you, it doesn't really taste good. To be honest, you know the other one is very flavorful, but shit's not. Shit's not flavorful at all. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pancake time. Oh, guys. This is insane. Woo! Mm-hmm. God. Pancake's probably the worst decision because it soaks up all the shit. Woo! Not fun. Not fun. Kinda needs more syrup, really. Dilute that shitty taste. Mm. All right. Bon appetit, right? GG. Oh god. No. No me gusta. Oh man. <sighs> well, that's all. That's all she wrote. So that is Blair's Ultra Death Sauce. Tastes like shit, to be honest. Straight up. Tastes like rubber. Fucking gross. Um, pretty hot, though. Pretty hot. So I wouldn't recommend it. Because uh, I do like hot stuff. But the thing about that one is it's A, yeah, it's hot as shit. Good. I like that. But B... If it tastes like shit, why is it worth it, you know? I would recommend this guy right here. It's the after death sauce. Shit tastes good. It's really hot too. But it actually tastes good, so. I'm just gonna stay on until this heat goes away, just to kind of give you an idea of how hot this shit is. Whew. Yeah, it says it's uh, 900 times hotter than a jalapeno chili. So, and it does say Ultra Death should not be consumed without dilution. It should not be. The others say, hey, we recommend not doing it. This one just says, don't. So. So that just kind of gives you an idea of how hot it really is. You know, they're like, hey, get a toothpick, put some on there, put some in, you know, a different sauce. Basically, that's what it is. That's why it tastes like rubber. understandable but like really it's still there yep 
It's it's down to the habanero stage though. It's almost like I just took a habanero and ate it. Right now at this point, you know, like three minutes later. Cool thing about Blair's though, they come with a keychain. It's a little skull. <laughs> it's hot as shit. <sighs> oh yeah, still there. Feeling the burn, as they say. Feeling the burn. <sighs> Eyes are definitely watering. <sighs> Nasal passage, definitely dripping. <sighs> Doesn't seem like it's going away. That's some hot shit. Well, yep. I mean, it's worth the burn, you know, if you want to burn your mouth all day. Think about the flavor, I'm just still very disappointed. Yeah. It's not as bad now. It's getting down to like the a little hotter than a jalapeno kind of thing. <sighs> Out of fluids. That's a burn. Man, even after done and all that. Not a feeling the burn. Feeling the burn. That's my stuff, man. It's like good thing to know is that uh you know it stays with you it's not one that that really just kind of oh it's real hot and then it goes away no this guy stays with you until until you die probably probably until you die i mean that's why it's called ultra death right i mean that makes sense like why didn't i think about that why didn't i think about that i don't know ah so I'm kind of getting tired of it now, so what I'm going to do, this is a good trick for everybody. This kind of kills heat instantly, really, like, for real. No lies, like, it's straight up, just cottage cheese. Get some cottage cheese. Trust me. 
Check out this. First bite, a little bit, it basically dropped it to a, like a spicy sauce at like a restaurant, like dead serious, like. Bite two, like nothing. Bite three, done no more heat it's awesome so keep that in mind if it gets something too hot you're like oh no i fucked up right like i am dead and there's no coming back grab some cottage cheese eat that shit it's great see you guys next time